Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 15th of December 2021. And we have a really big number of news all around whiskey and a few whiskeys that are being released and a few new distilleries and much, much more. We start off with Diageo. They are auctioning of a new car, well, an old cast of whiskey from the Talisker distillery. It is from 1978. And the auction will be on the 3rd of December in Edinburgh, and it is expected to sell at around 500,000 pounds. Then we have personal change. The um, We have personal change at the Island of Aran Distillers, but not at the Isle of Aran Distillery, but the Lohranza Distillery that belongs to the Isle of Aran Distillers at the south coast of uh, Isle of Aran. And uh, the parting one is David Livingstone, and the incoming one is Stuart Bowman, who's going to be uh, the Isle of Arran distillers now. Scotland is also getting a new grain distillery in the lowlands. Between Edinburgh and the border to England, there will be a new distillery uh, for grain whiskey. Um, they want to start building uh, in 2022 and it will be at Melrose and will be producing 20 million liters of pure alcohol per year. The whole plant will cost 46 million pounds, which is relatively cheap for such a big plant. Yeah, then we go um, over to Tamdu. Tamdu is releasing a new whiskey, the Quercus Alba Distinction. It's a limited edition, uh, matured only in first fill sherry casks of American white oak, therefore Quercus Alba. 45%, uh, 40, 48.5% ABV and will be coming out this month. And we have a, a strange corporation that I've never expected. DC Comics is unveiling a Batman-inspired single malt. It's a 25-year-old bottling and it's inspired by the story of Batman. And hopefully that's Adam West because that he's the best Batman. Uh, there are only 145 bottles of whiskey uh, in total, so don't expect to see ever one bottle because they're really, 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 really rare. They're called Inish Tree Speyside Single Malt because of the fictional city of Inish Tree where Batman this, uh, Manor is standing. Um, in reality, it comes from the distillery Imperial that was closed in 2013. So the, um, yeah, it is very interesting what's inside the bottle, but I don't think many people will open the bottle. Then there are plans to build a new distillery in Donoch Firth. There's a new permit uh, requested uh, for a new malt whiskey distillery in Dornoch Firth that is just north of Inverness in Midfern Eastern uh, Estate in Eastern Fern. So yeah, north of Inverness. And yeah, hopefully that will get built and produce whiskey. Then we have the Isle of Barra distillers. They are also unveiling plans for the new distillery. They are having a price tag. 6 million pounds and they want to start building in the uh, spring 2022 and they want to end building 2024 also in spring and they want to produce 200 million uh, 200,000 liters of pure alcohol per year so it's a rather small distillery but many distilleries have started small and grown then then we have news from very, very, very expensive whiskey. Gordon MacPhail is unveiling a new whiskey collection in a yeah, showcase box. There are 17 bottles of 200 milliliter uh, um, bottles and it will be priced at 100,000 pounds. That's about 134,000 US dollars. So it's really, really expensive. Then we go over to Ireland for Irish whiskey. We have a new master blender for Bush Mills. The old master blender, Helen Mulholland, is being replaced by Alex Thomas. And that's also a woman. So yeah, congratulations to Alex Thomas. And hopefully she will do a good job. Then we have a buying of a new of our Irish whiskey producer. A Welsh whiskey is being bought by the company Amber Beverage from Luxembourg. Unfortunately, we don't know the price what that was paid, but the portfolio of Welsh whiskey is Writer's Tears and Irishman. 
Then we have news from a new Irish whiskey that's coming out, Clonagh Kilty. Distillery is bringing out the Galihad whiskey on the market. It's a small distillery, it's a young distillery, and they're bringing out that new single malt called Galihad, 40% ABV, and it got finished in two different wine casks. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, might be, might be worth a taste. Then we go over to international news of whiskey. McMira Moment Brooks Whiskey DLX was announced. It's the second deluxe version from that classical Brox whiskey. The, the recipe stayed the same for the single malt. Um, it was matured a little bit longer than the standard, and this time it was uh, uh, matured in casks, but had smoky bourbon in them. But I'm not quite sure if it's really smoky bourbon or if they just had ex bourbon casks with smoky Scotch whiskey in it or smoky bourbon, uh, smoky Irish whiskey in it before, and then they had that their whiskey in it. So, but the crooks of the clan is. Uh, it is a whiskey uh, that has an influence of smoky whiskey in it. It's limited to 1,999 bottles with 44% ABV. Then we have Nikka, the Japanese company, is unveiling two limited editions of the Nikka Discovery series. And they are their um, first single malt releases from the Nikka Discovery series. Unfortunately, they're only released in the United States by now. And uh, the first one is the Yuichi non peated So Yuichi, actually known for smoky whiskey, is now with a non-smoky whiskey coming out, with a non-smoky single malt. And the Miyagikyu peated single malt. So Miyagikyu is known for not smoky whiskey, and they're coming out with a smoky whiskey. It's limited to 20,000 bottles worldwide, not colored and not chill filtered, or not chill filtered, what color, I don't know, probably not colored. And um, yeah, so it will be also really expensive, even though it's just a NAS whiskey, but because it's a single malt whiskey from a very, very, from very, very popular brands, it will be expensive. Yeah, and the last news is very, very good news because um, the, uh, there was a, a tariff war between the United States and the EU. And at some point, the EU put in place of tariffs on US whiskey. And that um, they talked to each other and they got agreements and they are lifting that tariff. And they want to uh, abolish it by the 1st of December 2021. So really, really recent. But uh, to tell you a little bit of the tariffs, the tariffs uh, were really put in place for the smaller brands, for the smaller craft distilleries or the smaller batch whiskies that were only bottled in the United States. Because if you ship your whiskey to Europe and bottle it there, and then you can really calculate down the price for the liquid because of the production cost being low and when you bottle it, you put the brand on it, then it's very expensive. And by then you're already in Europe, you don't have to pay the tariffs. So uh, the tariffs were pretty much for the smaller that they had to bottle in the United States and then ship the bottles overseas. And that was a bit more pricey for the smaller producers. So now we can enjoy more of the new rye whiskies, the new hype of the craft distilleries with new bourbons with four grains that will be cheaper within the uh, European Union and the US Americans will also be happy because they can export their whiskey a lot better. Yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.